Hey guys, this is Lo, and uh, today I've got a very nice Japanese knife here with me. Now, I don't usually narrate what's happening with the knives, I just do a cutting video just to demonstrate the knife is indeed sharp, do a performance test. But this particular job was a little bit different, and I think it warrants a bit of narration and background story as to what's happening. So this knife actually came, and it was about that much longer, about one and a half to two inches longer. And what happened was the owner lent the knife to uh, someone and that someone who was only supposed to slice things with it actually used it to pry. So I believe they went in about one and a half to two inches and pried with it and the blade you know, had a permanent bend in it. So we tried to knock it out with a hammer and we did straighten it out a little bit but I think the customer still wasn't, uh, wasn't happy that the knife was bent there and whatever little bit of metal fatigue that occurred with that bending as well, he wasn't very happy with that. So he wanted the knife to be back to its perfect, uh, as much as it can be perfect condition. So he wanted it cut down, he wanted the knife cut uh, just before where the bend started. So that was about one and a half to two inches. And initially I thought I was gonna have to just like put it straight to the belt and let the belt eat up all the way until uh, we reached past the bend. But then I thought, you know what, I've got a belt and I could actually cut and I actually did. I, I cut all the way in, so I didn't waste too much belt. And uh, I think it was a more efficient way of doing it. So after reshaping the tip, because I had to actually had to grind on the back, the spine side as well as the front side, it would be flat and it would be an inconsistent finish with the spine nearer to the handle so i decided to basically crown the entire spine give it a more refined look so now it's nice rounded uh, and quite nicely finished if i do say so myself uh, also feels a lot nicer than uh, you know uh, a 90 degree uh, spine so another thing that i had to do is because i shortened the blade and this grind would have been straight which would mean you would have a thick and untapered tip, which, you know, it doesn't slice or doesn't pierce very nicely either. So I reground the entire thing as well. It took quite a bit of time, but uh, we eventually got there. And I think I'm very happy with this profile. I was not obliged to polish this or refine it in any manner. Uh, the job was just to grind away and, and make a new uh, grind. But I decided, you know what, it's a very nice looking Japanese knife and it would be a shame if we didn't <laughs> if we didn't polish it up and clean it up a little bit. It's not a perfect polish, but it, it does reflect quite nicely and it's a lot better than what it was originally. So the edge itself is not sharpened to the usual grip which I do for my normal edges. I actually finished this on a 9 micron belt uh, with all the progressions in between. So it's got actually quite a nice shine to it. It's still got a micro bevel, again like the original blade had. And it does actually slice quite nice. It's also still quite bitey and aggressive. So this is going to perform quite nicely in the kitchen. Now this higher finish uh, is a new service i guess it's a new service that i'm going to be offering uh in the past it used to either be just the regular finish for uh, starting at 35 ringgit or hand finish which you know is charged by the inch so this one is gonna cost a little bit more i'm gonna work out the pricing if you guys are interested you guys can just drop me a pm uh, but we will finish on a higher grip belt with some refinement in between using different types of belts as well so it's a nicer refined edge but it doesn't cost too much all right so here you go. I've sent pictures to the owner and he, he was actually very, very pleased with it. He was very happy, surprised that the knife turned out that it did. All right, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got friends who are knife nuts as well, or you know, who are chefs and they've got kitchen knives like this that need some work done, share with them, show them the potential that their knives have, and you know, uh, maybe we can help them out as well. Anyways, you guys stay safe and stay sharp. I'll see you all in the next video.